Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial video on Ansys Workbench. Today I will talk about a new feature in Ansys Workbench 18.1 Topology Optimization. So let's start the video. So guys, first of all, go to a static structure. Just to click and drag right here. As you know, the default material is a structured steel and you can see here our problem definition is according to this one uh, the material is a structured steel and machine size is 2 mm and here uh, we have to optimize our model from 25% to 75% according to mass okay. so step by step I will show how to optimize this topology so first thing is we can uh, draw our model in uh, ANSYS workbench only or uh, we can uh, import our geometry from another model so just let us start our video so first of all you can change your material as you can go to engineering data edit by clicking on engineering data you can add more material or you can change your material according to your requirement so like here in general materials there are number of materials are given so you can add by clicking on plus one here okay and uh, if uh, you want another materials like uh, non-linear materials or explicit materials or uh, composite materials so like that also you have, uh, we have to add by clicking on materials so like uh, I'm adding one more material aluminium alloy. Now return to your project and click uh, on update project. Now the next step is geometry. So here just uh, right click here. So now you can draw your geometry on the new space claim interface or design modular space or you can import your geometry. So now I'm importing my geometry. And uh, the next step is you have to click on model so just to double click or right click and click on edit so now after importing your material uh, sorry after importing your model the next step is machine so just click on machine so you just change one more setting Fine mesh, fine mesh, and here also fine mesh. Here proximity and curvatures. So now you will get more finer mesh than previous. Just upgrade it. So now guys you can see the mesh is much finer than previous one. So now so now the statement is just click on static structure and start bearing support with just cylindrical support. Okay. And these two holes I'm fixing cylindrical giving cylindrical support. Now click apply. Next one is click on loads and uh, select bearing load. Select another circular section. Click apply and here vector to components. And now in y direction, just apply here. Now the next next one is just uh, add whatever you want to find. Insert uh, deformation, total deformation, and insert stress, administrative strain, equivalent stresses. And now click solve. Okay. 
so now guys you can see the total deformation and the prolonged stresses are like that so now we have to optimize our topology according to the current diagram so now you can see the animation we have fixed here this uh, two holes and uh, we are applying the forces in y direction at third hole okay that means bearing support and here two cylindrical support support we are applying so one more thing the next uh, next step is you just uh, return to your main interface and here you can see topology optimization topology optimization just click it and drag it on solution you have to drag it on the solution just keep remember this term because uh, we have to give all the uh, previous data to topology optimization now just uh, return to your project now you can see here all the topology, topology optimization the new model and the new aspects are already added here so now click on analysis setting and in analysis setting you can see maximum number of iteration and minimum normalized density so maximum number of iteration you just keep it default next one optimization vision so optimization vision is means all body or whatever uh, we want to just select all body means all body we want to optimize here geometry selection means individually name selection whatever we have if we have uh, uh, given some name previously then according to that one we can select individually so now here our method is uh, uh, all bodies uh, optimization we want and we are defined by boundary conditions so geometry selection name selection so this one should be default only and the next step is objectives in objectives uh, you can see compliance compliance and program control whatever we are giving to multiple steps enabled and static structure uh, on a static structure we are uh, uh, working so that's why this one is there so the main step and final step is response constant so in response constant you, uh, we have to give how much percentage to retain means uh, according to this uh, diagram how much what we want to retain so here percent to retain 60 70 whatever so according to your uh, problem definition we have to optimize so i am giving here 60 percent and previously in uh, our problem definition you can see in our problem definition you can see here uh, 20 by retain 25 percent 75 percent of mass so 25 percent we have to retain but uh, i am doing here 60 percent return okay and right click and uh, click on solve otherwise you can click solve here also so now this is our optimized topology optimized okay so according to our given criteria according to our given input we got this topology so I will use the optimized topology and uh, we can go for manufacturing also so before going to manufacturing we cannot manufacture this type because there are many irregular shapes out there so it will be difficult to manufacture so before going to manufacturing we should uh, remove all the edges and some approximate uh, dimension we need to give and we need to change the dimension accordingly then we will go for manufacturing so for that we will discuss about in next video how to change how to uh, redesign it and how to uh, go for manufacturing okay 
so we'll discuss about it next week so guys thank you for watching this video if you like then share with your friends and do subscribe my channel